Hi guys, welcome to Kids for Code's first video. We're so happy that you guys are joining us and we hope you're as excited as we are to be doing something new and fun. So my name is Connie and I'll be one of your teachers. Just before we get started, a little information about Kids for Code. So we are high school students who love to code and want to teach kids like you who are eager to learn just how fun coding is. And anyone can join us, it's especially made for kids but you have to be able to use the computer at a basic and beginner level, meaning you can navigate through files, you use a web browser like Chrome or Microsoft Edge, something like that, and be able to type. For today's video, we don't need to download or install anything, but in the future, if we do, we will be sure to help you navigate through everything step by step, so no worries. There is also no age limit or anything. Anyone and everyone is welcome to join us and learn coding with us. So what we do, we upload these YouTube videos on coding languages and computer science topics for you guys to learn from and watch from home. And we also host free Zoom lessons where you can come in, ask questions, get any extra help that you need. And this is also a place where we can give out extra practice if you want and walk you through the projects that we assign. So it's a really great resource. For now, we're gonna be focusing on three main coding languages. HTML and CSS, which are tied together, Python, and Java. Before we go any further, I just wanted to show you guys our website for Kids for Code. So this is just a place you can come to get more information about us, to get a more detailed description about our services, what we do, what we offer, things like that. And you can contact us through our website if you have any questions um, or if you have any suggestions for us. We're always open to suggestions and improvements. So feel free to do that. And this is also where you can come to sign up for our free Zoom lesson. It's a really great resource. That's where you go. I wanted to show you guys our curriculum. Since we're just getting started, there's only one folder up so far. You can click on this. And this is where you can see all the topics and the cool things we're gonna be learning about these next few days. So feel free to check it out. Okay, so you might be wondering, why is knowing how to code so important? What's the big deal? Well, you can make almost anything you want, anything you dream of with coding. You wanna build a website, use coding. You wanna go to space, also coding. You wanna build a robot, also coding. Obviously, these are very big, expensive projects that you probably don't do very often, but so many other things in your daily lives involve coding too, and it's just extremely useful and important skill to have. HTML and CSS, which are the two languages we're going to be starting with today, are one of the most commonly used coding languages and is actually used by people all over the world to make their own websites. By the end of our HTML lessons, you guys will be able to do just that. Make your own website. So besides how useful coding is in the real world and how fun it is, there are so many other benefits like being able to use and understand your daily technology better, like your phones, your laptops, your video games, things like that. It also improves your thinking skills and your problem solving skills and so much more. And just in general, computers and technology are a huge part of our world and our lives and our future, whether people like it or not. So we strongly believe that everyone should be able to have these basic coding skills, including kids, because it's never too early to start learning. So you heard me talk about these coding languages before, but you might not know what they are. Well, just like you use languages like English, Spanish, Chinese, French, and more to talk to your friends, your family, your teachers every day and communicate with them, you need these coding languages to talk to your computer. Obviously, the computer can't understand English or other human languages, so you need these coding languages like HTML, Python, Java, and more to communicate with your computer, just like you communicate with other people. So let's go into a little more detail about a few specific coding languages, HTML and CSS. So what exactly is HTML and CSS? Well, as we mentioned before, HTML is used to create websites on the internet. CSS is just another language that we use to help our HTML websites look much cooler and more interesting. So think of HTML as the basic building blocks of your page or the basic plain foundation of a house. Pretty boring, nothing much to see. But with CSS, we can design and transform this boring house or website into something much more unique and interesting to look at. 
Basically, we need both CSS and HTML because they go hand in hand to help us make really cool websites. So to get started, there are three main parts we want to begin with. This big text in bold is called the header. This is a paragraph, and this is a type of list. It's a bulleted list, which you guys probably are familiar with. This is a really simple, plain website that I created in literally 30 seconds, and this is the code that I used to create it with. But don't get overwhelmed when you see this at first. I know it can look like a lot, but trust me, it's actually very simple. And we're going to go into a lot more detail about this later, don't worry. But for now, just take note of this text in green. These are called HTML tags. Notice how they don't appear in your final website. That's because these tags, they tell the computer what to do and they tell it, give them instructions on how to display your content in your final website, but they don't actually show up in your final product. So in order to create your own website, you're gonna need tools. This is where you put all your, uh, all your code in. For today, it's very simple. All you need is a text editor. It's already installed on your computer, so you don't need to download anything. If you're using a PC, just go to your search bar and type notepad and click notepad. If you're using a Mac, just go to your applications and click text edit. So my website that I showed you guys earlier is saved as an HTML file because it's an HTML website. And this is just the structure that it gets saved to your computer as. So you've got the name of your file and the file extension. This file extension just tells the browser what type of file it is. In this case, it's an HTML file. And you don't really need to know all the details about this. Just know that's the, the, how the file gets saved into your computer. But just writing your code in a file or a text editor isn't enough because how do you actually see your website? Well, to do this, you're going to need a browser. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. After I wrote all my code in Notepad, I went ahead and saved it to my computer. And then I went and found the file location on my computer where it was saved on my computer and clicked open with. You can choose any web browser you want. I chose Chrome. And you've got your website. How cool is that? Really simple and easy. And obviously that's a very simple example and kind of boring, but in about a week, you guys are going to be able to make much better and complex websites than that. So getting started with tags and elements. We're not going to go into too much detail about this today, because today is more of a basic introduction to get you guys familiar with HTML and what it is, but all you need to know for now is that HTML uses these things called tags, which are these angled brackets. You can find these on your keyboard over here. So as I mentioned before, these tags act as directions for the computer. They tell the computer how to display your content in your final website they don't actually show up themselves in the web, in the product. So for example, this HR tag, this tells the browser to display a horizontal line and the words or letters inside between these angled brackets, these tags are called elements. And most of the tags that we're gonna be working with come in pairs. So this means they have an opening tag and a closing tag. The only difference between a closing tag and an opening tag is that the closing has a slash in front of it, but everything else is the exact same. The element or the words and letters inside of these tags are the exact same. This just tells the computer that they're paired. They're part of the same pair. Another important thing to know for today is that while HTML is mostly case insensitive, which means you can use uppercase, lowercase, or any combination of uppercase or lowercase that you want, and it wouldn't really affect your website, it's best to keep it consistent and use mostly use everything in lowercase, which is what we're going to be doing. So summary time, this is just the part of the video where we wrap up what we learned today and do a little bit of review. And just a reminder, I wanted to remind you guys that you can go to our website to sign up for our free Zoom lessons to get extra practice, extra help, and get more information about us. So we come up with these three, there's four main coding, or sorry, three main questions for today's video. What are coding languages? What are HTML and CSS? What is HTML used for and what is CSS used for and what do tags do? So take the time to think about the answers to these before the next video and next time we'll start off by reviewing today's topics and these questions. And if you're having trouble with these questions, feel free to rewind and rewatch this video because all the answers are in this video. 
And in the next video, we're going to go into actual in-depth coding. So that's not something you want to miss. Be sure to stay tuned. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you next time.